let's talk about this with somebody who has covered several different presidents here. Jeff Mason, who we're going to bring in right now, um, is here from Reuters. He's Reuters White House correspondent. Jeff, we've talked to you several times via Zoom before on our show, but to have you in person in your home, yeah. at your spot, thank you for welcoming us Pleasure. here. Pleasure. Welcome. Welcome um, to the White House. And, and as the uh, D.C. guy, what do you make of this, this Gavin Newsom, the rumors, the talk, all the rest of it? How do people here see him? Well, I think it's interesting in the context of Joe Biden, which is what you were just talking about. There's more and more reporting lately about whether or not Democrats would support him running again. He, of course, has, says he, he has said he intends to run. His people, I can tell you from my own reporting, say he intends to run. So that's not just that's that that's they're not just saying that that is really his plan at this point. And yet he is he is older. No question. Oldest ever. Yes. He's got an enormous number of problems that he's facing, that the country is facing under his watch. And so that makes even a sitting president vulnerable. Um, I, I, I don't think the relationship with Gavin Newsom is bad. I don't think the governor would be here if it were. He wouldn't be meeting with the chief of staff if it were. Right. But um, I, I'm sure you're right when you say they don't necessarily like the speculation. Well, and the poll numbers recently are not great for Governor Newsom either. We want to put this up on the screen. Uh, a poll number showing just 18% of uh, young people wanting to see uh, Joe Biden as the, the Democratic nominee. Here it is. Americans, just 18 percent of Americans say that Biden should run for re-election, according to Yahoo. But this is something that Joe Biden pointed out himself. 92 percent of Democrats say they would support Biden in a race against Donald Trump. Joe Biden likes to say, compare me to the alternative, not to the almighty. Yes, he does. What do you make of Joe Biden's political uh, present right now, where he's at. We know he's overseas right now, but how do you see the challenges for him as somebody who's covered so many different presidencies? Well, he is overseas right now, so he's focused on foreign policy, but back at home, today was a rough day economically with uh, the latest inflation uh, report coming out over 9%. That is not a number you want to see when you're sitting in the Oval Office. Um, and so that's, that's, that's rough, and that'll be a challenge for him in November, and it'll be a challenge for him in a couple years. Yeah, so you say 9.1% inflation yeah. up the this year, over this same time last year, that's a 40-year high. The White House officials I talked to earlier are hopeful that things are going to start to go down, just like gas prices have started to go yeah. down. But how big an issue is that specifically, inflation, in terms of uh, the, the political moment? It's huge, because people vote based on their how they're feeling and with their pocketbooks. And that's that's been a sort of a principle of politics for decades and decades and it, it will be again this this fall and it will surely be again in 2024 and and last lastly um where do where do we go in terms of the the, the vice president of yeah. the united states kamala harris as well because she's also here yep. she's a california daughter How's she doing? And, and what do people here think of her? You know, I think she had a rough uh, launch uh, as vice president, but I think things have, things have evened out a little bit for her. And she's certainly very loyal to President Biden, and she has to be. That's the job of being right. a vice president. And she's also been asked whether they're running, and she said he intends to run, and I intend to be his, his uh, running mate. And it'll be interesting that she's having lunch with Gavin Newsom on Friday here at the White House. They have a very complicated yeah. history over the years. There's been a lot of discussion about whether they would run against each other or not. We'll have to see about that. It would be interesting to be a fly, be nice to be fly in the room. room. Yeah, one, I wish. Yeah. I don't think we're invited. <laughs> but if, but we're happy to go. Yeah, if, if, if anybody uh, Bring me if along. Yeah, I'm to happy come. to go too. Jeff Mason, great to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much My for pleasure. all your uh, perspective and your great reporting. My pleasure. Um, Marla, uh, we will be back tomorrow with yes. more reporting here on the Fox 11 News. Yes. Report. What can we expect from you tomorrow, Alex? Well, tomorrow, Governor Newsom is going to be on Capitol Hill meeting with a series of senators, uh, not just the senators from California, talking about issues like abortion and guns and other ways that California can work with the federal government. We're going to have an extensive, exclusive sit-down interview with him tomorrow afternoon, and we'll bring you that tomorrow night here on the Fox 11 News Special Report and a special edition of our political show, The Issue Is, Friday night at 1030 as well. Alex, you are a smooth talker. I have all the faith that you'll be able to get a camera into that exclusively lunch on Friday between Newsom <laughs> and our vice president. No, I have no faith in that. <laughs> All right, Alex, thanks. The Secret Service night. is going to pull me away and arrest me before I do that. Yeah.